A lot of times we get the question, what motivated you to become a teacher? Or why do you still do what you're doing? If you moved away from the classroom, why are you still making math videos? Well, it's pretty simple. I love what I do, but there's definitely some motivations that got me started as well as keep me going. In this video, what I want to do is kind of take you through a little journey of how I found this motivation and how it continues to move me forward to this day. Now, I vividly remember sitting in math class in high school. I don't remember what grade I was, but I just remember sitting there being like, this is so boring. I wish I could become a teacher and completely change the way math is taught. Because at that point, all we simply were doing was every day we'd walk into class, we were sitting in rows, we would take down notes, we would go home, we would do some homework, we would come back, check our homework, take more notes, take a quiz, take a test, and it was just boring. And on top of that, I was not very good at mathematics. So you combine those together and I felt like there was something I needed to change. Now, obviously I'd love to credit this original idea of changing the way math was taught, of actually having anything to do with the path that I eventually came on. But back in those days, the only thing innovative that was going on online was eBay and Napster. So the idea of changing math education by making math videos was not really something I was thinking of. And actually being even a teacher wasn't something I was thinking of. All I knew is I hated my math class and I wish there was a different way that I could be something different, a different way for me to learn mathematics and actually enjoy it. Even though I wasn't great at it and even though I didn't love math class, there was this little part of me that actually enjoyed the math we were doing. Now playing sports my whole life, one of the best things that came from that was being able to be a leader on a team as well as learning to be able to coach younger students that would go through the youth programs. I learned something very important about myself that I actually enjoyed coaching other athletes. I like that transformation of giving your knowledge and showing them how to do things and seeing them improve. And this got more and more addicting the more you saw the transformations of athletes coming in with very much raw skills and then being able to transform throughout a whole season. You got to see their ups and downs, the struggles, as well as their successes. And this kind of transformation really became a drug for me, but it was only tied to athletics. Once I became a teacher inside the classroom, what I started to notice was I could have the same impact on those students. They would enter into the classroom with these raw skills, this knowledge, a lot of times a lack of confidence that they can be successful in math. And remembering that student myself sitting in the classroom, I knew I could have an impact on them. I know my teaching qualities as well as even making math videos was not changing education, but I saw the impact I could have on students. And that's what motivated me to become a teacher is because I wanted that feeling each and every day. And I realized that education was the best place to be able to get that because that's exactly what you're doing throughout a school year. You are molding students and transforming their lives inside of the classroom. So that's what I did. That's why I wanted to become a teacher. I wanted to make an impact on students and I had no idea how that was ever going to happen, but I knew I had a gift through athletics to be able to understand and react and to help students to push them along and motivate them through their struggles. Now, the reason I became a math teacher compared to any other teacher kind of goes back to that day inside the classroom. I knew I want to make a difference in math. I kind of liked math, but I didn't love it. But I liked math more than any other subject. I knew there's a way we can improve the way math was taught. Now, don't get me wrong. There's a lot that I would love to improve with math education and the way that we currently teach math. I, as a teacher, I've also have to fall in line with our current modes of instruction. Creating math videos is not transformational in math, but I know it's made an impact on students outside of my classroom. And that is what continues to motivate me today to make math videos. I love hearing stories from students that were struggling just like myself, that were not understanding their teacher, were maybe bored out of their mind, or maybe just didn't have access that they needed. And I don't know why my video or my explanation might have been the right cadence for them, but it helped. And it gave them confidence. And it gave them a roadmap to be able to overcome their struggles, improve their grades, and understand the material because that's what drives me. That's why when I was a teacher, I would still go inside the classroom every day during the summer and continue making math videos. That's why every day now I stepped outside the classroom, I wake up and I make math videos because I have this need. I have this desire to make sure that I can reach as many students as possible. So thank you for all of you that respond to my comments, just like you can respond down below and let me know how my math videos or my YouTube channel has impacted you on your learning journey. I think it's important when I look back on my math journey and continue making videos that I leave back a legacy that made a difference on students' lives in learning math. I gave students hope, I helped them understand, and I motivated them to keep moving forward no matter what the struggles they may have encountered in their classroom or outside the classroom. It's funny how a simple little thought in high school would be a spark to a lifetime of teaching mathematics and online learning. I never would have thought, but it's so cool to actually have that memory so vividly in my mind. So I ask you, what motivates you? What keeps you going? What changes do you want to make? Don't hold those thoughts in. Think about them and how they might manifest or how you might be able to manifest them, maybe now or maybe years into the future, because you never know what the future might hold. So let me know down below what motivates you. And if you want to know a little bit more about those high school days, then go ahead and check out the next video I have for you here. Cheers.